Against my window, I can't stand the rain. Against my window, I can't stand the rain. Against my window, I can't stand the rain. It's raining, we're back. Cod, Thai green curry butter in the wood oven. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunday Sessions in the rain. This episode is going to be quite choppy because we're battling the weather outside. So, off the top of the dome, sorry, off the top, we're making cod, Thai green curry brown butter. No, we're not. We're making cod, Thai green curry butter, a couple of clams, some cooked tomatoes, herbs on top, absolutely delicious, cooked in the wood fire oven. Don't mind the shit, just focus on the wood fire oven. You know, that's Camille, does one job, leaves everything outside. So, we're gonna run through what's going in this mix, right? So, I have six cloves of garlic, a teaspoon of fennel seeds, and a teaspoon of cumin seeds. In she goes. One, two, three, four, five, Five Thai red chilies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Thai green chilies. Half a bunch of coriander, just rip that. Um, and then I've got half a bunch of Thai basil. Uh, if you can't get Thai basil, use a mixture of tarragon and basil, does the same job. Um, and then, two sticks of lemongrass. Break all the exterior until you're left with the little aromatic bit in the middle, yeah? So you just want the finer bits in the middle, which is that. Doesn't look like much, goes a long way. A big fun piece of galangal. Like that. The juice of two limes. And then we're going to go in with seven of these little Thai shallots. Just take the tops and bottoms off. Take the first layer of skin off. And then they go. Shallot in. That's everything done. Now, I'm going to take this and waz it into a smooth paste. Yeah? I'll be back in a sec. Da -da 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 -da. Smoothie. Yeah, yum. It fucking smells spicy as fuck. We're gonna whip this through some butter. Join me back outside. All of our ingredients are blended into this lovely, why is it moving like that? It's congealed blood. Lovely paste, yeah? Here, we have some room temperature butter. Now it's important that you use room temperature butter in able to mix it together, right? So gonna use half a packet and then just check what our mix is looking like. So we get that in. Actually, you know what, fuck it. I'm gonna make it all. Do a whole packet of butter, because then you can use this for other things. So there's no point in doing half measures. I'm just gonna whisk this in. And this seems to be working. It will work, it's just cold out here. I whip 
together my butter. I used the Nutribullet in the end and it's made it really nice and smooth. This is the main flavor of our dish, yeah? So what we're gonna do is before we get the cod in the oven and stuff, I just wanna gently roast some cherry tomatoes just as a garnish. And whilst the wood fire is lit and on, why the fuck's not? So just lay them face up. Now, tomatoes are down. Tomatoes this time of year aren't fucking great. So they're gonna need a little bit of extra salt. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some sugar on them. Just so like they almost caramelize and go crispy, but still bring out the sweetness that the tomato naturally has. And then, and then we're just gonna put a little bit of oil on so they catch and they can just blister through. If you're doing this at home, put your oven on, gas part five, gas part six, put these in the lowest tray and just let them cook gently whilst we do the other stuff. So I'm gonna throw these in. Just there in the back. Um, I'm just gonna make a little dressing. So here I've got some herbs that I've sat in ice water. You know I like to do this because the herbs go crispy. We're just gonna make a little dressing that's gonna go over our, we're doing cooked and raw tomatoes and then dressing the herbs with it. So I've got a green chili and a red chili. In there. The juice of two limes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tablespoons of fish sauce. And then one, two, three, four teaspoons of sugar. Rainwater optional, uh, not included, but if it happens to rain while you're making it, it doesn't fucking matter. Whisk this together. And we're looking for balance. So we want acid, we want sweet, we want heat, we want saltiness from fish sauce. And this is just gonna go over our tomatoes and our herbs. That is spicy, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's it. Let's go check our tomatoes. Look, they're starting to blister. Nice and cooked, yeah? So, I'm gonna pull this tray out here. I've got a little touch of oil. I've got this beautiful piece of cod. Absolutely fantastic. Honestly, in your life, you never see a piece of cod like this. Nice bit of cod. Oil both sides. And then we're gonna hit it with a big crack of salt, both sides. This is a big chunky bit of cod fillet, so we want to go extra with the salt. And then cod goes in. Stick it in, that's what she said. Cod's gonna cook for about eight minutes for a piece of cod that size. If you're going like half the size, five to six, let it rest. Gonna make a little garnish out of some herbs. But I just want like little accents of different flavors. So I've got some mint, I've got some Thai basil that I'm just gonna stick in. Some big bits of coriander, they can go in whole on the stalk, doesn't matter. I just wanna put some pretty shit on top of my cod. Mixture of herbs. Then the rest of these tomatoes, just gonna cut a couple in raw. Raw dog it. Herbage, a little bit of salt, and then we're gonna take this dressing that we made, and we're just gonna stick some in for now. We're not gonna 
mix it around just yet because I don't want it to wilt too much. So we're just going in with a little bit of dressing. And then that everything is going to happen over here and then we're going to plate. So from here, cod's halfway cooked and I've got some beautiful big fucking clams. I'm just going to stick these with the tomatoes. Just like that. And they're going to make like a little sauce for us. And then I'm going to go on with a generous amount of this Thai green chilli butter and stick this back in. Let this thing. are open. Cod just cooked. See how bouncy this cod is? Just cooked. I'm going to pull it off. It's fucking spicy, bro. Jesus Lord. So now this has got all the clam juices in it. Tomato juice. All of the good shit, cuz. You get me? Banging bit of cod. I got this cooking shit in the bag, innit? Yeah. Shame you're a bit of a cut. Don't break. Oh, little breakage. Cod on. Oh, taste that. Clams and our little secret tomatoes. And it's bright and green and inviting. Little breaks of colour from cooked tomatoes. There's no one else cooking food like this on YouTube. I fucking promise you, bruv. Everyone's doing sh stupid shit with Wagyu. The amount of people, bruv, that fucking just... I'm going to dip Wagyu in Marmite and see what happens. Fucking... What? Bruv, I'll show you videos, bruv. People are fucking weird, man. Look at that. Thick. How many views have you got? Millions? Yeah, of course. He's a fucking millionaire. That alone looks good enough to eat. But we've got deep, fatty flavours in here. We've got butter. We've got clam juice. We want something that's going to lift it and give it some edge. So now I want acid from, like, the dressing a couple of raw tomatoes and some herbs for garnish. You should just all eat your fucking greens, bruv. It's all, look at the colors, inviting, tantalizing. That's it. Dressed herbs, cooked tomatoes, raw tomatoes, beautiful bit of cod buried underneath all this green shit. Acid, heat, sweet, fat, everything you want to eat, right? Yes, make yourself some rice, eat some fucking bread, do what you want. But for me, I'm happy just to eat this mammoth bit of cod. Breaky and flaky. That's what you want from fish. It's got all the fish resting juices in it, the butter, all the sauce from the green curry. Bon voyage. I barely had to chew it, bruv. Just swallow it. Fuck, man. Where's the clams at, bro? Is that Arthur? Oh. Merry Christmas. It's flavoursome. One said flavoursome. Exquisite. Mm. Very nice on the palate. It's divine. Look at how it's cooked. It's ever so slightly just holding together, breaking away. And it's yum Thai. Mm. Uh, now it's hot. 
It's get, it creeps up on yeah, you, innit? It creeps up when you yeah. have more than a bit, more than a bit. Creeper. Bread, bread. bread or some rice. Mm. Yeah, rice actually. There's levels, there's heat, there's acid, there's beautifully cooked fish, there's like muddy earthiness from clams, sweetness from clams also. And it never so. And then once in a while you get a different pop of herb. Thai basil, anise, freshness of mint. It's just a fucking belter. And on an awful grey day today, to eat something that looks so like healthy and green and just delicate but fucking bold. This is the kind of food that I fucking want to eat all the time. Ty, what out of 10? 10. Same. I don't even like spices. Ty don't like spices. It's tens all round. I'm sure George will agree once he's dropped cam. This is how you should be cooking. You don't need a fucking wood fire oven. Just keep your oven on full whack. Make some butter, buy some clams, buy a bit of cod. Any fish you want. Monk, halibut, turbot, bream, anything. Prawns, scallops. Cook it the same way. Hot oven, bish bash bosh. I had dinner ready in 15 minutes. Thanks for watching. Big up you lot. Eat this, George, because I want to eat it, please. Yeah, it's nice, fucking nice. great, bruv. Can you say films? Film. Films. Films.